Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Fear. Um, this is actually my second attempt at recording this. I fucked up and accidentally deleted the old recording. Um, I got like 14 minutes in, so shit. But anyway, whatever. It is what it is. Um, as you can see, I have a lot more health now. I have upgraded my armor to leather armor level 4. Took a little bit. But, um... So significantly more health now. Um, we have a new type of bolt. Cobalt bolts. Um, does 140... Yep. 140 damage. And we now have onyx bolts, which... I noticed something kind of interesting in here. Um, can be effective against sea creatures and ogre and troll-like creatures. So at some point in time, we're going to be fighting some sort of sea creature and ogres apparently. And the Rose Quartz um, mentions that this is associated with love. So wherever the fuck the Banshee is, um, we have what we need against her. Um, as stated in Barlow's journal. So I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to do before we go to the next area. I don't think so, so let's just jump right in. Um... Okay, traveling to a new location. <sighs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Let's see here. Although the cave looks empty, the fire inside the cave looks like it just died out. Someone obviously lives here, just isn't around right now. Perhaps there's something you need to do first. Okay, there isn't really anything we have. Oh, oh, I bet that's the thing with the gravestone or whatever. Um... So, if there's one person we generally talk to for advice... Yep. You're looking for flowers? Can you tell me specifically which ones you seek? You show her Mr. Barlow's diary with the list of flowers. Her face expresses slight concern as she looks through the list. These are rare mountain flowers, and, they only, and there's only one place they grow. The flower beds in the Ice Palace Gardens. Because that doesn't sound foreboding, and it's slightly beautiful. They're in the mountains, not too difficult to get to, but the cold-hearted Ice Queen, how cliche, <laughs> who resides there is not friendly at all. She'll most likely have you arrested for trespassing on her land, so we just kill whoever they send. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal. You must be extremely cautious if you're planning on stealing from her, so please think through your intentions very carefully. As for the cemetery, Ravenmore, what is this, World of Warcraft, <laughs> is the only one in the valley. You'll find it in the mountains. Okay, so why don't we try to get those flowers first? What could go wrong? <laughs> Famous last words. As you climb the snowy ice path towards the summit of the mountain, your path is blocked by a mountain lion. Large cat growls at you. Prepare for combat. I'm always prepared for combat. Okay. Yeah, we got this guy. I'm not going to waste a special on him. I don't see a reason to. I mean, even if he were a stronger enemy. This also has me thinking about the forest demon. I wonder if we can take him soon. And what his weakness is. Maybe I need to use either the silver or the gold bolts on him. If I had to take a guess. Probably one of those two things. Or I don't know. I mean, it could be the Malachite again. Eh, we can dick around, try to find different ways to kill him. Alright. Ooh, crystal. You notice bizarre ice formations sticking out of the ground. Post upon closer inspections, they look like ice crystals. They're too cold to the touch. They don't appear to melt as easily as regular ice. Perhaps there's something special about them. Well, we have magic fire crystals. It kind of makes sense that we get magic ice crystals. Come on, there's there's got to be some fun stuff we can do. Like, what if we were to combine... Oh, uh, No. Probably just make water anyway. Magic water. <laughs> it's a large, beautiful flower bed, which is somehow out in the middle of the fucking tundra. Full of bright, beautiful flowers. Your head spins at the overwhelming sweet scent coming from it. It's hard to believe flowers this fine would thrive in such a harsh, cold environment. How are they not frozen? Everything else is. You can only assume they're being well maintained. You reach over and take a closer look at the flower bed. 
and get chopped on the back of the neck. As you do so, you feel a sudden strike at the back of your head, accompanied by a loud crack. Everything goes dark. Technically, I hadn't even committed a crime yet. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, trespassing. God damn it. You look and find yourself trapped inside a cage made of ice, which sits inside a large hallway. The wind echoes across the rat rock walls which are covered in the glistening coating of frost beautiful as it may be you're not overjoyed by the harsh hospitality of whoever lives here Lit lives here <laughs> lives here you notice the other ice cages nearby which are all empty with the exception of a few skeletons here and there looks like you're the only prisoner here yeah that's not dead at least the only one who's alive whoever made this game has the same cynical sense of humor as i do and i love it <laughs> Touching the bars of the cage is a bad idea. Your skin just sticks to them. That sounds kind of painful. Let's face it, there's no way you're getting out of here without some kind of help. Like magic fire crystals? The magic fire crystal kind of help? Although not totally sure whether or not this will work, you decide to give it a try anyway. What do we have to lose? She's probably just going to kill us. You press the fire crystals against the ice bars. You watch in awe as they react to the cold ice and begin heating up rapidly, burning a large hole through them. Why the awe, though? I mean, we knew they were going to do that. You carefully squeeze your way through the gap in the bars and make an attempt to leave. As you step out of the ice cell, you suddenly find yourself being flanked by several armed guards who threateningly point their weapons at you. Uh-oh, looks like they're not too happy about the little act of vandalism on the ice cage. You knocked me out. They forcefully usher you down a large hallway towards a large cavernous room. They didn't t go through my inventory. Did they take my crossbolt? Can't I just kill them? Oh, great. She looks like a bitch. Suddenly find yourself standing before the queen of the fortress, who sits upon a majestic throne of ice. Though she's very beautiful, you get the impression she's cold-hearted. Eh. Six out of ten. She narrows her eyes and stares right at you. Her glare is harsh enough to pierce cold steel. Does that have to be cold steel? She snarls it and glares at you before speaking with a voice which is uh, calm but full of authority. Fuck you, too. You, who are you? Answer me. Do we know? Yeah, no, we don't even know who we are. Okay, she isn't that intimidating. For Christ's sake, stop being a bitch, man up, and shoot her in the face. Or answer. You know, either or. I asked you a question. You barely speak up and tell her how you arrived here and about the witch you're seeking here in the mountains. What's well, not what she asked. She pauses before sizing you up and carefully looking you over. I'm no fool and you're no magician. Never says I said I was. Said I woke up in a weird-ass cabin. You came here uninvited, steal my flowers, was about to steal your flowers, damage my property, you knocked me out and locked me up in a cell, and then tried to deceive me like some lying serpent. Actually, everything I said was true, and what the fuck do you have against serpents? Bitch. I should have you put to death. You can try. I should still have that crossbow. crossbow. You fall to your knees and beg with plead with her with... <sighs> You are such a pansy killer. Mercy, you wish me to show mercy after all the trouble you've caused? Go down fighting, you piece of shit. It's not like begging is going to do anything. It never does. This could be your only chance of surviving the situation. Unlikely. You beg her to let you go and offer you to do an offer to do anything in return. You disgust me, character. You really do. Her eyes narrow like slits as she glares at you while considering your plea. Kill her. Okay, maybe begging works. I may be willing to compromise if you're willing to undertake an extremely dangerous task for me. Sure, you just want to see me dead anyway. Rather this could be the ticket to your freedom, not to mention your life, you hastily agree. Ask questions first. Then again, I suppose she's about ready to kill us, so I'll, I'll let it go. <laughs> Very well, beyond the mountain chasm lies a cave. It's the only place in the valley where a rare species of firefly can be found. Okay. My pal surgeon needs those fireflies for med medicinal purposes. What do you need fireflies for, for medicinal purposes? Can you not see? Do you just need to, like, shove them in somebody's stomach when you're operating? <laughs> Use them as an outline? Bring me some of those fireflies alive, and I'll not only grant you your freedom, but will allow you permission to take whatever you please from my flower beds. Sure. But be warned, getting those fireflies will not be easy. The cave is inhabited by a fire demon. It will be necessary to defeat him in order to get what you need. Kind of would have thought it was an, would be an ice demon. Do we have an agreement? Why isn't the fire demon in the desert? Not like I have a choice in this. 
You nod your head and assure her you will do whatever you can to, to get her what she wants. Very well, you may leave, but do not attempt to flee the valley. I couldn't, even if I wanted to, or go back on our agreement. Otherwise, I should be forced to hunt you down and have you executed. Is that understood? Yep. Good, now go. Get me those fireflies. Remember, I want them alive. No, I'll just go kill them all. Oh, the jar! That's what the jar is for! Okay. So, why don't we check out the graveyard next? Okay. Might as well stall to kill the fucking fire demon. Who the fuck are you? As you approach the cemetery, you notice a woman casually standing there looking at you. You literally could not get any more casual than that. Like, even if you tried, you can't help but wonder whether she's the relative of someone buried here or just some lost soul in need of help. Well, we have a long list of dead people so far. You finally pluck up the courage to speak and ask her if she's okay. You are a spineless coward. I mean, this is coming from me of all people, but still. She gives you a look of horror and speaks softly. Do not cross the gate. Whoever enters will not come out alive. The Banshee destroys all. I feel like you're going to kill me. That foul creature has prevented me from visiting my son's grave for many years. I can't help but feel sorry for her as she sighs and looks at the ground with sadness. Tell me something. You ever lost a child to the devil? No. <laughs> not old enough to have a kid. I have. My son was taken from... Well, eh, age is relative there, but not old enough to want one. All because of someone else's lust and greed. Maybe someday. <laughs> I won't rest until his soul is at peace. I spit curses on the monster who did this. May their soul be torn apart forever in hell, fire, and eternal damnation. Lovely. And again, killed your kid, so I don't really blame you there. All of a sudden, she perks up and stares at the gate. The banshee, she comes. Over there, behind the gate. You look over at the cemetery gate. Is that a dark shadow you see? <laughs> oh, God! Kinda saw that coming. Alright. So. Oh, shit. <laughs> Unleashes a blood curdling scream. It missed. I can live with that. <laughs> Unleashes a blood curdling scream. Holy hell! Does a lot of damage. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do there? <sighs> Humiliating defeat, gain consciousness, and find yourself in the log cabin once more. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? She does so much damage. <sighs> Okay, what if we go talk to people? No. This is new. Hunt animals in various locations as long as the area is clear of any danger. New clothing will cost you a certain amount of gold plus a number of animal pelts. If you need money, you can sell any surplus pelts to me. You can only carry a certain amount, so it makes sense to rid yourself of any unnecessary animal skins. Okay, so that was useless. Oh. The tattoo is just... She doesn't seem to use electricity. Maybe we have to unlock one? Hmm. I have an idea. I do not think we can take her. Um, I have over a thousand health, and that did nothing. So we're going to hold off on her. Um, I suspect we will unlock what we need after we kill the fire demon... I kind of want to try to take out the forest devil, though, and see what happens with that. Uh, radiant and full of life, the stump and branches are looking much more alive, and the entire vibe of the tree and surroundings have totally changed. Like, half this fucking valley so far. Just your tree will totally rejuvenate your health. It can only be used once every few minutes, as it needs time to recharge its energy. So use it wisely. Thanks, Dre. Yeah, why don't we try killing the forest demon? I want to see what will happen. Uh, this is the exact same dialogue as before. It 
doesn't seem to have any specific weakness. Uh, why don't we try silver bolts and see what happens? Nope, 50 damage. Maybe it just doesn't have a weakness. I mean, looking at the health of the other creatures we've seen so far, I, I think we just fight it. Actually, yeah, it's it's not all that strong anymore. I think we just had to wait. This thing isn't very intimidating. It doesn't do a hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. I have potions. Potions up the wazoo. <laughs> we, I'm not worried. health 270 health here I have something you don't know it's practically dead I won't even bother defending plus it doesn't work half the time anyway so oh yeah we're fine okay gained a total of 350 gold cool Devil in the tree that lets out a scream as your last bolt takes its life. He won't be bothering you or anyone else ever again. As it dies, it drops something shiny to the ground. Another amulet piece. You pick it up and rise as another amulet piece. You add it to your collection. So is there anything... Was it just for the amulet? Um, I'm not seeing anything interesting here. Must have just been for the amulet piece. See, I, I keep thinking that I can't tell if maybe the amulets are like an optional thing or if you have to do it, because I thought the one we found in the wall with Victoria's body was going to be optional, but we need that jar for the fireflies. We have to. I, I mean, I just can't think of anything else we'd need the jar for, so that's the only thing that makes sense. Probably can't. Uh, one minute. Okay, so I, I just have a minute that I can use for talking here. Um, like, we have to use that jar for the fireflies. I mean, I can't think of anything else it's for. So we had to find Victoria's body. At the time, and the way that the achievement we got was kind of set up, I was thinking it was like an optional side quest sort of thing. It seemed like giving Gunter the solace was, which got us another amulet piece. Which, oh, actually, that was the amulet piece we got out of that thing. Um... Maybe it is optional, then, because we didn't have to say anything to Gunter. I, I just happen to like Gunter, but, uh, he's cool. If not crazy as shit, but... Um... So I'm not sure. Um... I'm, I'm interested to see what the amulet is going to wind up being, because I'm very confused about that right now. Alright, let's go check out this new location. Are we gonna get attacked? We always get attacked. Come on, where is it? There we go. Large black bear standing away and preventing you from getting... It gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Black bears are known to be extremely hostile, and this one is no exception. Black bear growls as you at charge towards you, leaving no choice but to defend yourself. Uh, weaker than the forest devil. Look at those fucking eyes. Just beady little eyes. Just staring into your soul. Alright. Yeah, we're fine. I hope the fire demon isn't another fucking ghost or something. The jump scares. I, I like the jump scares for this game. I mean, I'm not too big on horror stuff. As you've noticed, they always get me. But I like the way the jump scares are placed in this game. It's just not, like, haphazardly everywhere. It's... that's molten lava. The ice crystals. Um, they build up to it. And, you know, it, they're well-timed. And just... I don't know, I like it. It's a large pit of bright, burning lava. Given the cold, snowy environment, it seems a little odd for this to exist here. So is it a fire demon or a lava demon? Because they're right. It shouldn't be here. Thank you, text box. Regardless of which, the lava pit is blocking your way into the cave. There's no way you're getting past it, given the amount of heat coming off. No, why don't you jump in and take a swim, dumbass. 
I know it's got to be from Firefly. No, I mean, it would have melted the glass anyway, but... Good idea. Thanks. You throw the ice crystals into the pit of lava. You watch as the lava pit cools down and becomes a patch of dried, cracked mud. Well, that was good thinking. You can go through now. I don't think it would become mud. I know how that works. Uh, let's get more ice crystals, just in case. It took some, uh, Oh, never mind. It doesn't work like the tar, then. Which, there just seems to be an infinite amount of tree demon blood. Oh, hey, yeah, there's the fireflies. Where's the demon? So you enter the cave, a fire apparition appears in front of you and begins taking the form of a devil-like being. Hi, buddy! It's gonna be the fire demon, which the Ice Queen warned you about. He glares at you with anger and looks like he's in the mood for a fight. As the fire demon charges towards you without warning, you have no choice but to defend yourself. We always... Oh, wow, you're not even that strong. Okay. Which is good, because I just realized I'm going into this with half health. Like a dumbass. Yeah, you aren't very strong. I'm not worried. I'll definitely have to use another potion right now, actually, but... See, we can shoot him with the crossbow bolts, or can we just piss on him? Wouldn't that kill him? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> just saying, you know. Might work. What did I just do? That was stupid even for me. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna do something stupid. Never mind. It's not stupid. I'm fine. We are fine. Okay, he's dead. Ooh, 420 gold. <laughs> Fuck. After finding your last shot, you watch as the demon's fiery body disappears into a tiny wisp of smoke. New tattoos, bolts, and armor types have been unlocked. There it is. You notice a large cluster of glowing insects, which you can only assume are the fireflies you need. They appear to be docile creatures who just seem to be set just seem to be sat there doing nothing. Wow, I almost feel guilty for this. Almost. That's a good idea, but there's no way you can reach that high. What? Oh, wait. That's what the honey was for! You bait them! Watch as the fireflies swarm towards the sweet, sticky liquid. Oh, wow! That was fast. Did you just say swim? Entomologist, you carefully pick up each firefly with your fingers and put them in the jar. Luckily for you, these creatures are harmless and don't have stingers. Huh, which is good. That was sucked. It's my, yeah, I know. I put it there. Can I get it back? No. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Yo, ice bitch. Here. He over the jar of fireflies, hoping you've collected enough to satisfy her. She takes the jar from you and looks over the contents. For the first time ever, you see a faint smile grow across her icy lips as she looks at you with comfort and kind. Wow. Yes, these are the ones... That, that is a dramatic change, though you still have resting bitch face. These are the ones my surgeon wanted. This will be more than enough to produce the medication we so desperately need. Oh. Thank you for your service. As promised, I will grant you your freedom, and you may take whatever you need from the flower beds. Wow, now I'm kind of glad I didn't commit regicide. Huh. Though I advise you to take heed and be careful in future. Not everyone will show you the same sympathy I have. To be honest, I'm surprised that you showed me that sympathy. Now go, you're free. Have a good one! <laughs> seems, you, uh, seems as though you now have permission to pick flowers from the Ice Queen's flower bed. You lean over and take a closer look at the different types being grown. Okay, I do not want to take any more than I need. So... Uh, two Scarlet Gilias... I have to remember them all, don't I? Ah, you fucker. Okay. Two Scarlet Gilias, one Wild Iris, two Bleeding Hearts, three Mountain Lilies, four Golden Lilies. I'm going to have to write this down. There's no way in hell I'm going to remember that. I can't remember what I have for had for breakfast this morning, much less this. Did I have breakfast this morning? <laughs> okay. Um... Two Scarlet Gilia, 
this. I'll just put SG. Uh, one wild iris, WI, two bleeding hearts, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> two bleeding hearts, two bleed, <laughs> two bleed, <laughs> three mountain lilies. Um, f and four golden lilies. Jeez, I've got two SG, one WL, two bleed, three Mao, four GL. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so, two SG... One wild iris, two bleeding hearts, three mountain lilies, four golden lilies. There we go. Okay, I'm an entomologist and a florist. Jeez, I don't even know my name. <laughs> Here's the flowers I'm going to pick tonight. A little bunch, you carry it with you. Cool. Okay, um, let's head into town. Uh, I do not want to stop to farm in the middle of this. I prefer to farm off-screen. Um, electricity, tattoo, it silent, totally silences your enemies. Okay. Psionic attacks. We're going to be attacked by psychics. Great. Okay. Great. So some type of mind reader is going to get us. Wonderful. Uh, crow arm. That's just fucking cool. One raven feather, three crows. Okay. That is fucking cool. That is really fucking cool. <laughs> Mentioned new bolts, too. Uh, and there was apparently no point in me buying... Maybe I should stop buying a hundred of these. Uh, it seems like the hundred is a little overboard. Why don't I buy fifty? Uh, okay, so... We have new potions. Nope. Okay, I still have seven. Um, I, I say I'm just gonna go heal at the tree and we just go right into fighting her and hope for the best. Um... Her most damaging attack is her scream. That's just the way the Banshee goes. So, not with that tattoo on. I don't know how much damage she can do. What am I doing? Oh, right, tree. And even then, uh, I mean, can I hunt here? No, I mean, that graveyard is probably where we're going to find the crows. So, God. Looks like fucking Medusa. Alright. I forgot to read the Steel Bolt description. Uh, it always does. 50 50 chance. What? Okay, I'm gonna do this one more time. And I literally, that this. I mean, that makes it completely pointless. I don't even think I should have bothered with that. Because in the two turns it buys me, I got attacked anyway and didn't do any damage. So that was literally completely pointless. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Killing you with the power of love. <laughs> God, what am I, Sailor Moon? Fucking shit. Uh... Alright, yeah, I think we got this. If I 
fuck up on the little bar thing without healing there, I will die, so I'm gonna heal anyway. Yeah, I think I would have killed her, but it doesn't matter. That says 2020. Okay, either way, she's fucking dead. You destroy the banshee with the final strike from your crossbow. She let a blood curdling scream before crumbling to dust, being blown away by the wind. They're a little annoyed you were so viciously tricked by her. You feel better knowing you ended her reign over this place. You may now hunt the cemetery. Yeah. Just so we can take a look at the crow. Ah, yep, yeah, crow. I was actually trying to say creatures, but crow works. Um. I feel kind of guilty for killing crows. I love the raven. Crows and ravens, whatever. Hello, ma'am. Large grave sits by itself on top of a small hill. Although the grave is unmarked, you get the feeling it's of some importance given its size, position, and location compared to other graves. I'm certain this is the one mentioned in Mr. Barlow's diary. You respectfully place the flowers upon the grave. You feel a chill go down your spine. It's almost as if you felt a change in the air. You're not entirely sure what happened. You get the feeling you, what you did was extremely important. Okay. You're welcome. Wrong place. Hi. You scared me. <laughs> an elderly woman stands before you. Her stare is firm but comforting. The hard, sunken lines on her face tell a long and painful story. Although her face is covered, you can tell she's from from her eyes so that she is faintly smiling. Perhaps she's been expecting you. It's not often one puts flowers on my mother's grave, so I know it was you, and for that, you have my gratitude. You're very welcome. She was the one saint in my life who loved me unconditionally. That world, The world may reject you, but a mother's love will never abandon you. Tell me, are you close with your mother? You try hard thinking of your mother, but cannot seem to recall any re memories of her. You begin explaining to her that you can't remember when she suddenly interrupts, because your memory fails you. Yes, I'm aware. You are taken aback by her remark. How could you possibly have known that? Well, she was waiting here for us, knowing that we put, you know, flowers on her mother's grave from literally miles away, I would say. You're questioning this? You must have many questions. Go ahead, speak freely. Cool. Who is this strange-looking man in the photo? You show her the photo, and she asks who he is. She gazes over it with a few moments without saying a word. He was once an honorable man who lived here many years ago. He had wealth, family, and everything one could wish for. One day, he started acting differently. It began uh, with the cutting of his beard, then selling his wedding ring and family paintings. He then took a large rock and destroyed the golden pocket watch, which was handed down by him and to him by his late father. If that wasn't enough, he also began dressing in a manner which one would not expect from him, and said he once spent an entire month wearing only red. He grew thinner as his appetite for food was soon replaced with the unexplainable appetite for knowledge. Eventually, he w withdrew himself from society and neglected his family, became obsessed with learning all he could from old to tomes and any scholar who could offer him knowledge. The fuck? But then his behavior became troublesome as he began dabbling in necromancy and dark magic, trying to summon demons and attempting to raise the dead. Yeah, because that never goes well. Dumbass. Whatever his reasons may be, the dark creatures that plague this valley come from the portals that were opened. Why am I here, and how did I get here? The answer is simple. Because I summoned you here. Thanks. Thanks for that. You are from a large town known as Ridgewood, which lies many miles south of here. Despite a great, such a great distance, my magic is still powerful enough to summon you. Do not con concern yourself over the loss of your memory. It is only a temporary effect of the summoning. I promise you will return after a day or two. To be totally honest, I mean, that's not even the question I would ask. To rid the valley of all demonic entities which plague this land. Am I a knight or something? Why me? None of this is my problem. <laughs> Oh, but it is your problem. The man who, that summoned these entities, the man in the photograph, is none other than your own pert paternal grandfather. Then, yes, it is my problem, unfortunately. It spins upon hearing her words. The feeling of familiarity you get when gazing at the photo, it all makes sense. Dead, hopefully. He left this world and passed on so many years ago. 
on some year. You are all that remains of his bloodline, so the task of cleaning his mistakes is rightfully yours. See, on one hand, I always hated things like that because you are not responsible for the sins of your ancestors. Little things where it's like revenge for something that your great-great-grandfather did, in this case, grandfather. It's like, if you're the only one who's capable of cleaning up this mess, then that's different. But if this is expected to be your fault simply because you're related to someone, that has never seemed fair to me. The cabin in the woods belonged to him, hence the reason you appeared there. You have a strong link with that particular place. It is your job, and your job alone, to destroy the Guardian. The Guardian? The Guardian of the Gates of Hell. <laughs> Great. Your grandfather tried to summon the devil himself. They say he did not feel comfortable living his life as the man he was. The society saw a wealthy, respectable man, but in his mind, he was a weak failure, ashamed of himself, his family, his life, and his accomplishments. Pathetic. He believed the devil would give him all he wanted and was willing to make a pact in exchange for his soul. Tell you this, a soul that laments for power is no different to one that, that pursues wealth. In a way, they're kind of the same thing. And just like wealth, most are willing to risk death for it. This became apparent when attempting the ritual as he accidentally summoned the servant instead of the master. The guardian of hell is a very powerful demon and cannot be slayed by a mere blade. I sense some of the pieces of the amulet. You mean the silver trinkets I've been finding everywhere? They are means of making the guardian pe appear before you. You will need five of them in order to do this. Each one needs to be used in the correct order at the stone circle. I do not know about all their whereabouts, but I know of one which is in the hands of a werewolf who resides nearby. I actually think that's the last one. Be warned, he is, powerful and he is a powerful and dangerous creature. None who enters his lair come out alive. Not so easy to defeat. Do I have to say this? Because she's not going to let you leave. Obviously. I'm not stupid. Have to say it. Technically, it's not my responsibility, but do I think you can leave a response? And have you forgotten how you got here? You did not travel this journey on your own free will. Do not forget, I was the one who summoned you and can do so at any time. Hear those words. If you attempt to leave, I'll bring you back as many times as necessary until you complete your duty. Find the amulet you know, pieces and defeat the Guardian of Hell, and I will send you back home. The werewolf has one of the pieces. Okay, fine, so how do I defeat the werewolf? Same as you defeat any werewolf. Silver. The wolf's bane herb grows on the shores of Lake Dagon. Heh. <laughs> Skyrim. Bring me the plant, and I will make you a charm bracelet, which can help weaken him a little. Okay. Wolf's bane. I think that's actually part of a legend. So you have the bracelet. There's more I need to tell you before you can defeat him. But for now, bring the wolf's bane, then we will talk further. One more question. Why did you summon me now and not earlier? Tonight is the blood red moon sits in the sky. We've done all this in one night. I've, I've noticed there wasn't really a set passage of time per se, but I mean... One night... Uh, I thought there was just some curse over the place. It is a rare occurrence which happens a few times each century. Supernatural powers are heightened during this night, and many portals are opened. The Guardian ritual can only be performed under the influence of a blood red moon. Of course. Enough questions. Get me the wolf, Spain. Given the situation, it looks like you're left with no choice but to do what she asks. New tattoos and special bolts have been unlocked. Lovely. Okay, so I believe we have four amulet pieces, actually. We went and killed the forest demon, so... Um... Let's see. Amulet pieces. Uh, one of my... Yeah, amulet pieces. No, um... Bolts. Bloodstone and moonstone. Info. Special crossbow made of moonstone, a mineral traditionally associated with the moon and lunar deities. Although generally weak, a single steadily strike from this bolt can be extremely lethal on certain enemies. Let me guess. Werewolves. Kind of figured the silver would have worked, but okay. Bolts inflict 50 health points damage. It costs 90 gold each. You currently don't any, own any of these bolts. Bolts. You'll, uh, we'll need that for the werewolf. I don't get why they didn't just use silver, but... Info... Or, or maybe they'll both work well. That's just the special that works. It's been a crossbow bolt made of bloodstone, a form of quartz associated with protection against dark magic. Although generally weak, a single deadly strike with a bolt can be extremely lethal. Certain damage and cost 150 each. Currently don't own any of these bolts. Okay, I have no idea what we're going to be using that on, but it's probably guarding the wolf's bane, knowing our luck. 
Um, then tattoos. Dark magic, electricity, psionic attacks, regeneration. Okay, so I don't know what... Uh, oh, oh, I bet we're going to attack by a sea monster here. The Onyx. Remember, this is the only body of water that's big enough, I see, for some, well, lake monster, I guess. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, as you approach the lake, you notice a giant crab standing in your way and making threatening gestures at you with its pincers. You're no expert on the subject. Based on his appearance, this particular crab appears to be a bone crab, an extremely dangerous territorial species known to kill humans and heavily protected with a tough shell. Okay. You know what that is. You don't know your name, who your mother is, or where you're from. But you can clearly tell this is a bone crab. As expected, he looks nasty and unfriendly. Before you have a chance to do anything, the bone crab charges at you and attacks. Uh, yeah, I bet this is what the onyx bolts are for. Let's do this shit. And it uses electricity. That's what that th tattoo is for. Holy hell. Uh, okay. Bye. Didn't mention that little tidbit. Thanks for that. Gunter, have anything interesting to say? Now Gunter rest. That's all Gunter want is to rest. Aw. Gunter. Poor guy. Um. I'm debating. Okay, I kind of want to get that new armor uh, before we fight the bone crab. I feel like that'll help. Um, so, that being said, what's our percentage? Oh, we're 80% done the game. Okay, so, um, there'll probably only be one, two more episodes tops after this. Um, uh, but I am going to be starting a new series. I have been working on preparing all the different various details I need for it to get everything working, because I've been having some tech problems, but, um probably record an episode have it released either tomorrow or the next day okay so um i hope everyone enjoyed the video um if you did then sweet if not probably didn't get this far um i hopefully that didn't appear hope as i said hope Everyone enjoy the video. I hope everyone has a lovely, lovely day, night, evening, whatever it is. Peace.